My project mainly focuses on the reproductive biology of canines. Uh, so let me just give a bit of a background information about canines. Canines are all uh, are native in South and Central America. The genus is composed of eight to ten species and more than a thousand hybrids. And these hybrids are, are thought to contribute to invasiveness. Today, the species is distributed across all the tropical and subtropical regions of the world, and most species are presumed to be self-compatible. And there is no data available for other species about their compatibility systems. So, the genus has also many profound, profound modification in relation to other plates. <coughs> One of the profound modifications which I found interesting was the secondary pollen presentation, which is when the anther deposits its pollen uh, to form a secondary pollen present. Why have I chose to do this study? It's because that in South Africa and around the world, canas are, some species of canas are declared invasive. In South Africa, for example, cana indica L is declared invasive. And that's most previous research about Kenya is limited to the nutri nutritive and pharmacological aspects of it. So ultimately, there is little data available about the reproductive biology of Kenya. And that now there is little data available about the reproductive biology of Kenya. And because it is invading in the Tamarit and in Hawaii, so the study aims to investigate the reproductive trait that promotes invasiveness in kind of cultivars that grow in Pitamarit and Hawaii. So the working hypothesis of this study was that the, the kind of cultivars that I'll be working with are self-compatible and can self-pollinate. This is basically what the study will test. And it will also examine whether there are suitable pollinators in this new, in this new region of invasion. So the methods that I've employed are based on uh, uh, just standard uh, pollination experiments which were done in three cultivars which is the red cultivar, the orange, red and the yellow cultivar. So what I've did, I've set up breeding systems experiments, I've also set up uh, compatibility systems test. I've also tested if these plants are affected by pollen, pollen limitation. I've I also test if these plants uh, can reproduce uh, vegetatively. And I've also checked if these plants have a, a suitable pollinator. This is where I would exclude the birds. What I, what I have found so far is that in the breeding systems experiments, the fruit set is high, but there are no seeds that are set. In the compatibility systems experiments, I found that fruit set is high and uh, seed set is also high as well as goes to the pollen limitation test, but the fruits and seed sets are low. And when I exclude beds in my bed exclusion experiments, I found that fruits and seed set uh, is moderate in comparison to the other test. And I also found out that these plants can reproduce vegetatively. Thanks.